What's up everyone, it's so good to see you here back on the channel. Today's video is all about Dehancer, the plugin for After Effects, Premiere, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve that is used for film emulation, adds grain, halation, bloom. There's tons of effects that you can use through this plugin that are just top notch, that look super sharp with your footage. Not super sharp in a way because they actually make your footage look more like film but more so in a way that it is a really good tool and it's probably the best tool I've seen out there that gives you this effect. And I know that many other people will agree with me because there are tons of reviews out there about Dehancer. If you're in this space, in the creative or video space and you watch a lot of YouTube, you know that this is not something new. This has been around for a little bit and there are lots of people who have used it, reviewed it. They're all gonna say this is an extremely capable and useful plugin for your edits. And I'm gonna completely agree with that. When the people at Dehancer reached out for me to use this and review this plugin, they specifically and explicitly said, don't hold back. If you have anything negative or you have any critiques, include that in your video. Tell us what you don't like about it. What disappointed you? What are the drawbacks? I really do believe that they're wanting to listen and, and kind of even further improve this plugin. Now, quick disclaimer here though, is that I am not someone who is a huge buff and have this vast knowledge of all of these different film profiles. I'm not gonna be able to tell you in this video that they get this certain profile right, or this one is a little off, or I'm so glad that they included this one. I can just tell you what I think looked good and what I really liked and the versatility of the different profiles that they have and that they include. So if you're looking for someone who is a pro colorist, you're not gonna find that here and I'm sorry, but I can say that you can get so many good looks out of Dehancer in your footage. Now as a first time user of this plugin, as of 30 days ago, I've never used it before this, I absolutely love this. The feeling and the aesthetic that you get from the film profiles and the grain that is built into the into your clips, into your footage, and the halation and the bloom and even the film damage, this is such a useful tool for someone that is trying to tell stories. The first thing that I really love about it is the ease of use. It is just like any other effect that you would use in Premiere. You just drag it onto your clip or drag it onto your adjustment layer and then it's just sliders and drop downs. Once you lay the effect on your clip, it's as easy as selecting the camera that you shot your footage with and then choosing the film profile that you wanna use. And I did not mention before that there are 63 options of film profiles, which is overwhelming a little bit, but I soon I got into a groove and kind of found my favorites. And with some of these examples that you'll see, you'll kind of see a trend. There are a select four or five that I really did like individually. And, and then there are some that I were a little bit more experimental that I tested out on some footage. I mainly just stuck with the film profile, the print option that you could kind of lay on also with your footage, the film grain, the halation, the bloom a little bit, and then the damage a little bit as well. And let me just reiterate that while you're using this plugin, it's as simple as sliders and drop downs and, and boxes to check to enable and disable different looks. It's as simple as that. And really anyone could do that. You don't have to have a history known about the different film profiles. You don't have to have an advanced knowledge of really anything to be able to use it. You just have to be able to know your, your editing software and you're off to the races because really it's all about look. It's, it's the look that you like. And there's so many different looks that you can get. This is a tool that can be used by someone who's just starting out, but also it can be tweaked in an expert way to get really advanced looks in your footage. The next thing that I love about Dehancer, and I probably even said it a little bit before, is how you can fine tune even the smallest details, specifically speaking about the grain, the halation, and the film damage. A lot of times when I'm trying to add certain elements, to an edit like a film burn or a damage or just kind of a grungy look like ones that you can download online from different subscription services they're just so over the top and it's too much and it takes away from the message that you're trying to portray and it's just distracting and when i added the film damage to certain clips i was just like a breath of fresh air because it was not over the top but it was noticeable 
and you can make it more so if you wanted to. And then you can even change the strength about what types of film damage that you want, such as like the hair on the screen, the scratches, the, the amount of dust that you get. Shockingly, I found that to be one of my favorite minor things. The film profiles were my favorite things because the looks are just so good. But man, the, the added bonus of having that film customizable film damage and the customizable halation and grain in fine-tuned ways was so cool and, and really refreshing. Now, I do have a short list of critiques and things that I wish were a little bit better or different while using Dehancer. And the first is how strong some of the effects come off when you first apply Dehancer to your clip or enable certain effects, specifically the grain. When you first enable the grain on your clips, it is comes out so strong, so strong that it's distracting. The same can be said about the halation. It can just be just overdone when first applied and it has to be brought down. The next is that when it is applied, it slows down everything. But I did find that it works better with certain codecs from different cameras. So like the footage from my FX6, it works really well. It's much more smooth. It still s slows it down a little bit, but it's still s more smooth than footage from the FX3, which seemed to slow down everything. One thing that did help was adding Dehancer to an adjustment layer above the footage, but even still, it would still slow down significantly. Which bleeds into my next point of being that when it comes to export, your export times are substantially longer. I've got a pretty decked out MacBook Pro. It, it can churn out edits pretty quickly. And even with that, I could tell a difference that the exports of just even eight clips back to back with Dehancer installed on them was much slower. And then the last little thing that I do have to mention is the price. It is not a cheap investment to get Dehancer to use this plugin. Before when I was on the fence about purchasing this plugin, what kept me from doing it was the price. Now that I've used it though, I know that it is definitely worth the price. It is really useful and I'll be able to use it all the time for my personal edits and for paid work. But coming from the outside and having never used it, that's what kept me from making that actual purchase. If you are on the fence about it like I was though, what I should have done was gone on their website and downloaded their free trial, which you can do now. And you'll be able to use the plugin for a certain amount of days to get used to it and see if it'll be useful for you. Now that I've gotten to dive into it and get hands on with this plugin, I can now see how applicable and easy it is to use and how useful it will be in my upcoming work. I'm not gonna lie though, it is still expensive. Coming in at $449, about $450 for a lifetime license of Dehancer. In, in this situation though, it's kind of like you get what you pay for. If you're gonna pay for something cheap, you're gonna get something that looks cheap. Whereas here, you definitely get what you pay for. Yeah, it's $449, $450, but you get to use it for your lifetime. And then also, it is so well made. And the looks that you get are so well done. In this situation, I see it as buying one really good top-notch tool and never having to replace it. Whereas if I bought something cheap, I would use it, get disappointed, and then turn around and have to find a different option or buy the answer then. Which means you wasted your money with your first purchase trying to go cheap. It's a balance and it's hard and everyone is in their own situation. So I'm not gonna make that for you. You can make your own call. Overall though, the look and the feeling and the aesthetic that I got from using Dehancer with my footage justified everything. I really, really enjoyed using it and I love how it worked with my footage. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. Thank you for showing any interest in my channel or my content. It means the world. There's just so much out there you could watch and you've taken the time to watch mine. So thank you. Hope you have a killer day and stay blessed.